Hey guys, how's it going? This is me, T Dude here, back with another edition of game pickups for the months of February, March, and a little bit of April. So sorry for the, uh, the the delay. You know, I've been kind of busy and also admittedly relaxing a bit. I need a little bit of a break. But now, back and I'm going to show you some of the game pickups I got during the last two and a half months. So let's get started. So obviously, let's go with uh, the biggest thing right here. It is the Nintendo Switch. Yes, I got it, and I am having so much fun with it. Uh, I pre-ordered it with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I've been having so much fun with it. So, of course, I got the console, and uh, also with the neon uh, color variants there, and bought it with a case, because you don't want to play on the go, right? And here it is, the Nintendo Switch itself. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I made a video about uh, me and my friends playing when we went to Switch outside, so that was really fun. And yeah, with the Switch I bought three games. Uh, of course, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Also, 1-2 uh, Switch, which, yeah, I, I believe it's it's a packing game, basically. It should, should have been a packing game, but at least I had some fun. And then also Barman, or Super Bomberman R, which I really enjoyed, because I love me some Bomberman, and, you know, I gotta get it, right? So, I had to go to a different store to get this one. But, yeah, but so far I've been really liking it, enjoying it. Um, then much later I got myself a Classic Controller Pro, so, excuse me, a uh, Switch Pro Controller, which uh, actually is not that bad, it's really fun, very good. So at least I got my uh, options there, so that's great. Now let's go to uh, some of the games right here that I got over the, uh, the past months. So let's see, we got uh, good old Assassin's Creed 3 for the Wii U, because I want to go on Wii U. Uh, we got Split Second, NBA Jam, okay. uh, Dance Dance Revolution, which uh, I wanted to get because I'm being into DDR, right? so this is like the first one. Oh, here we got uh, a PlayStation demo disc, so that's always awesome. Another DDR game for the Xbox, uh, Ultra Mix 4. Need for Speed Most Wanted 510, or 5110, excuse me, 510. Ugh. Anyways, uh, I got this at a thrift shop where uh, the game wasn't in the case because, you know, sometimes they just put the game in there and don't they don't really pe expect people to just take the game. Um, I already had the game, I just needed the case, so I got it for free, basically, so that was awesome. House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut, which I love me some House of the Dead, and love me some Mario Shooters. The Fight Lights Out, which is uh, an interesting motion control fighting game. Uh, didn't really work well when I played it. And, let's see right here, We Fit You, which um, I've actually been playing uh, a little bit. And... Yeah, that's kind of neat. It actually came with the, uh, I got the box with it, which came with this thing. The, uh, what is it? The Wii U, uh, Fit Meter, right? It's basically like a pedometer that you kind of hook up with your, uh, uh, Wii U gamepad. And, yeah, I've been actually using it. So, I've been trying to get some exercise with the Wii Fit U game. And so far, it's been kind of nice. You know, kind of cool. Also right here, we got this big box right here for Ridge Racer Type 4 with the Jawcon controller. Now, I love me some uh, some weird controllers in which, like, you know, you can only play for, like, one or two games or something. Just, just weird controllers in general, right? And uh, I got this at uh, Retro Expo Montreal. And, yeah, it was, like, a limited edition thing. It's really cool and awesome. So I'm, I'm really glad I got, like, a good price on this thing. And, yeah, it's a pretty big box. So over here, I got some uh, miscellaneous stuff. Uh, I got a GameShark branded multi-tap for the PS2, which apparently works for both the PS2 Slim and uh, regular PS2, so that's kind of neat. Uh, I got myself a, uh, a blue PlayStation controller, which uh, it's the Hip Gear one, and I'm not sure if any of you guys have this type of PlayStation controller, but uh, the plastic feels really sticky, so I'm going to have to kind of clean that. Um, also, power adapter 
uh, spare power adapter for PS2. Over here, you have uh, an original Xbox that uh, I bought from another thrift shop because, you know, I want that 16 player Halo LAN party eventually. And yeah, it's, uh, you know, it, it wasn't working all that well uh, in terms of the disc tray. So I just kind of did some surgery and replaced parts with my other Xboxes. So now it, it works. It works good with uh, a new disc drive. Also, here's the box for the uh, Switch carrying case with screen protector. So that's nice. Now, for something I never thought I would actually get, um, this is a Sega Master System. Basically, it's a uh, console that competed with the NES back in its day, and I can't believe I actually managed to find one and they actually purchased one. So, it was in uh, like a pawn shop or something, and yeah, it was like a really good um, deal in terms of getting like all this stuff. So, what it came with, uh, of course, is the Sega Master System itself, the uh, Sega Control Stick, which is an arcade stick, uh, some two controllers here. The good old Sega Light Phaser, which is their like NES zapper, and also uh, right here, Alex Kidd in Miracle World, which is one of the uh, big, well-known games for the Sega Master System. Basically, Alex Kidd was the Sega mascot before Sonic. So yeah, and I was actually really lucky enough that way long ago, uh, I managed to get like four Sega Master System games, and. Yeah, ever since then, I was thinking, like, eventually, I'm gonna get this thing, right? So, and I got it. And actually, it's really fun. It's a really cool Model T to just actually finally get one. Over here, we have a PS3 Slim, which doesn't work well. Uh, basically, I got it from my uncle, who on the side works in, like, real estate or something. And just basically just kind of gave it to me because pe uh, those people didn't want it. And I kind of learned why, because the disc tray doesn't work well. Uh, apparently there was a DVD copy of That 70s Show inside this thing, so yeah. And it was super dusty, this thing. I actually tried to open it up and clean it, and it took a good long while. It was in like the vents and everything. So I'm probably going to have to try to figure out how to fix this thing, or eventually try to get someone to fix it. But yeah, at least I got like... You know, another PS3 Slim. And then over here, we have a mountain of Nintendo stuff, which I'll go into more detail right now. Alright, so here is a bunch of Nintendo stuff. So, the uh, story behind this is that uh, I met a guy at uh, LAN ETS. His name is Nicholas, or better known as CyberFox007. Right, or 007. And, uh... We, you know, we kind of became friends and acquaintances, and one day on Facebook, he wanted to get rid of his old Nintendo stuff since he didn't have any use for it anymore. So basically, I just messaged him saying, hey, I would I would gladly, gladly take it off your hands, and yeah, he uh, just gave me the stuff. So very, thank you very much, uh, Nick, for uh, doing that, and yeah, d definitely go check his Facebook page. He's pretty awesome. He's pretty cool. So... Right here, we have uh, a good number of stuff. I think there's like five NES controllers or something. Uh, one Super Nintendo controller and like two zappers. We got a yellowed Super Nintendo. Uh, two NESs, which he said one of them is finicky and the other one's kind of broken. So I'm gonna try to see if they work well or fix them uh, any way I can. Uh, we got some slip covers, some cases, and a bunch of these games. So let's start with, basically here, of course, the classic Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt combo. We've got Jack Nichols, or Nicholas Golf thing? Yeah. Yeah. Good old Tetris, because Tetris is awesome. Dr. Mario, because that's also awesome. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers 3, which I'm really happy about. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I already have a copy of, but yeah, it was good. Uh, he had these... Chinese like pirated carts which um, I remember kind of speaking to him about and it's very hard to kind of tell what the value of these are because they're knockoffs right but like they have like a bunch of games on them so I don't really know the market of these uh, like bootleg cartridges 
but at least I got some, so that's pretty cool. So I got one of that, uh, what is it called, 92 Super Mario Family or something? Yeah. And uh, 190 and 1. So the uh, thing with this is that I have not tested any of these games yet, so I'm going to have to try that out. Uh, RC Pro Ram, which um, actually is not, not too bad, that's pretty cool. And uh, another copy of Super Mario Bros. 3. So, yeah, uh, a good bunch of Nintendo stuff. Uh, again, I have to thank uh, CyberFox for uh, hooking me up with this. Uh, I'm, I'm always grateful whenever people do that uh, for me. So, again, I have to say thank you. Now for the digital games of the months. First, we have 2064 Read Only Memories. Uh, I actually won this in a contest on Vidme. Uh, so, I gotta thank uh, that guy for. You know, hooking me up with that game. Thank you. Next is the PlayStation Plus games, which, yeah, a good number of stuff. Uh, from Lumo, Severed, Severed's a game I really want to try out. Under Night in Birth EXE Late, which I think is a fighting game. Invisimals, The Lost Kingdom. 10 Second Ninja X. Alien Rage. Curses and Chaos. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time and drawn to death. And finally, a game that I'm actually really happy to get is Snipper Clips for the Nintendo Switch. I played it for a little while and it's it's really fun. I can't recommend it enough. All right, so that has been the game pickups for the months of February, March, and half of April. So sorry that it couldn't be a uh, weekly again. I, again, I've been kind of busy and also kind of need a little bit of a break here. But now feel like I'm, you know, reinvigorated, and now I'm here to take on, you know, the world, especially with Montreal Comic Con and Talk Con going to be, you know, coming up pretty soonish. So, can't wait for that. Anyway, so with the highlights of, you know, this month's or this video's pickup, uh, I gotta admit, it is one of them. It has to be Great Tracer 4 with the Jawcon controller. I'm uh, really excited that I got this thing because, like, you don't see this out too often, so. I grabbed it. It was awesome. It was great. Uh, another thing I didn't really expect to ever actually find uh, was the Sega Master System, which I'm really excited for. Uh, one cool fact I didn't know about was that there's actually a built-in game uh, inside of the Sega Master System for Hang On and Safari Hunt, which I'm not sure if this is, includes all uh, Sega Master System games, but at least mine did. So that was really cool. And of course the crown jewel of this video's game pickups is, yeah, it's gotta be the Nintendo Switch, right? So I've been having so much fun with this thing, uh, especially playing Zelda uh, on my TV or out uh, on like buses and stuff. Uh, actually, what was really fun was uh, just like yesterday at the time of this recording, got to go out with a few coworkers and we got to play some Bomberman uh, out in like a restaurant and it was really fun actually it was so much fun especially whenever I also played snipper clips which I also got we having four controllers four people just huddled around with the screen all trying to figure out how to solve the puzzle in snipper clips it was a lot of yelling a lot of frustration but it was so much fun it was great so I'm, I'm really glad I, I got Intel switch I can't wait for more future games, especially with Mario Kart 8 coming out, and especially for me Splatoon 2. Uh, I love Splatoon 2, or the first Splatoon, so I can't wait for the sequel to come out. Anyway, so thanks guys for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in another edition of Game Pickups.